ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Nigga, start swinging that shit. What's poppin', Jimmy Gang? We back with another banger, man. We back and back and back. I told y'all this shit don't stop, man. Every day you every day you go on your phone, you if you already subscribe, you should just go to you should just go to your YouTube, pop it up, and you see me coming down your TL. Cause every day I'm dropping, man. I'm dropping bangers and I'm not playing. I told y'all. And listen, guess what we doing today? Y'all guess, guess, go, guess. Put put in the comments, guess. What you, what you think we get? What you think we get? It's another story time, gay. That's a fact. Man, another story time. I'm coming back at y'all, man. Listen, we gonna go back in time a little bit. We gonna take it to when I was a little young, little wild, stupid, young, reckless, raw dick slinging. Just a dumb motherfucker. You know what I mean? Just a dumb nigga. That's what the we gonna keep it a hundred, man. That's what I was, man. Real dumb. Real. Oh, could I put my ice out on this? You know what I'm saying? Can I, can I, can I pull the Jews out for you on top? All right, copy the Jews is out now. Let's go. So listen, like I said, this took place back when I was in middle school, man. I was a little middle schooler. But guess what? I don't know about child, but in middle school, I was fucking. <laughs> let's just keep it a hundred. I was fucking. All right, so look. Let's get into it, man. I was attending 203 middle school. At the time. Now listen, I got a lot of memories from middle school to be honest, because I was doing a lot of wild shit in middle school. Like I went to 222 as well, which I'm gonna get into those stories. That's bur that's burger. I'm gonna get into those stories as well. But this story right here came to my mind today. And I was like, yo, listen, since the story came to my mind, I'm a this is what I do. Let me give it to the people right now, man. Why I'm holding it back for? Why what I'm holding it back for? I don't care if I got two subscribers. Y'all gonna get this content. You understand what I'm saying? So look, middle school days, man. I'm going to tell you how it all was set up. Because I did some little creepy shit, too. I was a little... I was definitely doing my man's dirty. Like, not my man's, but I was doing a fellow homie dirty. Like, I was I was definitely creeping on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? But look, so... This is what happened, right? I'm in middle school, man. You know, doing my thing. Doing my ones and twos. Thinking I'm that nigga. You know I'm, I always thought I was that nigga. I always did. I, I really was that nigga. That's why I thought it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so I always thought I was that nigga. So, you know, I'm macking on all the chicks. I, I, talking to all the girls. You know, just... Basically doing my thing, man. Talking to all the females, making sure everybody know me. Cause anywhere I go, you gotta know me. I got, you know what I'm saying? I stand out. You know what time it is? Anywhere I go, you gotta know me, right? So, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing my thing. I got the homies and shit. I got this. I got that. Mind you, this school right across the street from my, from my projects at the time. You know what I'm saying? Tyson, you know the vibes. This school right, this school right across the street from there. So 203. It used to be IS 183. If you know, you know IS 183 for the old heads. But yeah, so. Basically, I, I'm going to say names, man, because do it even matter at this point? Man, fuck, I ain't going to say names because people get mad. Look, man, I was special with this girl named S. We're going to say her name is S, right? All right, so S had a boyfriend. S had a boyfriend, right? His name was Jamal. Fuck it, I'm going to say a nigga name because I, you know I don't know nigga like that anyway. I ain't doing wrong. S had a boyfriend named Jamal, right? Jamal was was, was kind of cool. Like he wasn't like my homie, but he was cool. Like we used to when I when I did go in the gym and stuff and play basketball, or whatever you, you know what I'm saying? We would ball together, whatever the case may be and shit. You know what I mean? When I did like when I did like link with the certain people that he would be around and shit, we would chop, we would chop it up and shit like that. I ain't gonna cap, like I knew something. I ain't gonna for, I, I, for the sake of for the sake of the story, I was gonna make it seem like I ain't really know something like that. You know what I mean? It make me not seem like less of a grease ball. But listen, I ain't gonna cap. I knew the nigga like. We was cool. We used to dap it up and shit like that, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? So he, we was cool. But he had a girlfriend, bro. She looked good. She looked good. She was this, she was, she, first of all, this might have been like my first or second Spanish body. Because at the thing, this, at the time, this is middle school. So I just started fucking like a year ago or a couple, I mean, not that long ago. So I ain't like got mad bodies. I got like four bodies or whatever the case may be. Maybe, maybe like three, maybe four bodies or whatever. And this is my first Spanish body. She a little cutie, little Dominican joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my first little taste of the rascon pollo. You know what I'm saying? All that, you know what I'm saying? Beans and rice. It's my first little taste of that. You know what I'm saying? And I liked it. So what happened was, boom. I'm knowing she got a man. I'm knowing who her boyfriend is. But she giving me play. She talking to me. It's not like it's not like because she got a man. She not talking to me. She not giving me no play and shit. She, she riding. She, everything I, every time I tell her, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, Link with me after school. Do this. She with it. Like, okay, what time? When? Uh, uh, where? Let me know though. We gotta be low key because I got a boyfriend. 
I didn't even find out who her boyfriend was till I already was like, like dick hard gonna fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, one time, one day, we got close to smashing. Um, we was like outside of school, whatever, on our way. We got close to, I forget what happened. We, we wasn't like, think about it, this middle school. So we wasn't like having no privacy to like, while we outside and shit really do nothing. But we was definitely like, you know what I'm saying? Touching on each other a little bit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Shit like that. Uh -uh. So she like, oh, you know, I feel bad because like, you know, my boyfriend goes to the school and I'm gonna feel bad like if I do something with you and then I gotta see him the next day and blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute. Who are you? So one, she had been said this a couple times, but I never asked who he was. So one day I'm like, yo, who your boyfriend? Who your boyfriend? Like, you keep mentioning this nigga. Like, who this lame nigga? You know what I'm saying? Then she say his name. I'm like, who? Jamal. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, I'm like, I'm like, what, what's, what, I'm like what's Jamal? What's Jamal you talking about? And she like, oh yeah, such so and like, yeah, he this, he that, he be, he be hanging over there with the woman. I'm like, word? Oh, all right, all right. That's what's up. Mind you. I'm knowing she done seen me talking to this nigga before. She done seen me and him chop it up on some little quick. Oh, wait, hold up. I ain't even show y'all my pillow. Oh, this is dedication. I almost forgot to tell y'all this. Damn, I get to show y'all. Make sure if you seeing this right now, go subscribe right now. Yes. Pause the video and subscribe. But yeah, so she um she um she pop out like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, I'ma feel bad if I, you know, if I if I let you smash and I gotta see you the next day. But she's still going. Everything that I'm, every all that. Sometimes she coming on to me, bro. It be times where I'm not showing her a lot of attention, cause she be mentioning her little boyfriend too much, and sometimes it blow mine. And so I don't be showing her a lot of attention, and she'll come get up on me and stuff, start being all close to me. You know what they used to do in middle school when they want to let you know that they feeling you or whatever. She be doing all that type of shit, right? You know what I'm saying? So I I just said I decided to like, yo, hit the lick. Like, listen, boom. All this procrast procrast procrastinating and all this other dumb shit. Like, yo, what's up? Like, we out to your crib. Like, because I couldn't have company. At the time, my mom wasn't with it. Like, she was not with it. Like, I, I had probably got caught with a chick in my crib recently, and she was not with it. Like, I remember this exact time frame, and there was no me sneaking nothing in the crib at the time. My mom was doing it, busting in my door randomly. Yeah, at this time, she wasn't with it. No, I ain't going for that. So, what happened? Boom. She told me to come to her crib. Now, she lived, like, by Alexander or some shit like that at the time. I know, I know, yeah, it was, like, but I don't really know the exact street, but it was, like, going towards Millbrook, you know, one of them, exact, one of them, well, coming from, going from Patterson to Millbrook, one of them Alexander streets over there, Alexander or somewhere, wait, when I was going to see Shorty. So, I walked her home, you know what I'm saying, after school and shit, you know what I mean, and we get to the crib and shit, you know what I mean, everything's smooth, everything's sweet, everything good, we just kind of, like, laying around for, like, the first... 10, 15 minutes and shit. And then, like, yo, she just, she just, the horn, the horn ball just jumped out of her. Like, the horniness just jumped out of her. Like, I don't think she was a virgin. Like, I definitely don't believe I took a V card because, like, she didn't mention it. So, you know what I'm saying? So I doubt it. But the horn ball jumped out of her, bro. She just started just, like, like, oh, so come here and come on top of me. And we still got our clothes on at the, at the time. You know what I'm saying? But she, come here, come on top of me and shit. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I do that. Boom, boom, boom. While I'm doing that, she kissed her on my neck. I think that's around the time when I discovered, like, yo, my neck. Guaranteed to get my dick hard. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so she's, she started doing all that little shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, my neck, my neck. And uh, uh. So, boom. You know what I mean? I'm kissing on her neck and shit. She done already kissed on my neck and got me rocky. So now I'm returning the favors and shit. I'm kissing on her neck and shit. Probably gave her some kisses on the mouth. I don't know. I was a wicked nigga back then. I probably was kissing her in the mouth and shit. Even though she was a random doc that's letting me fuck. And her, her man is my man's. That's wild. But I was probably kissing her in the mouth and shit. But yeah, so what happened? Boom. Next, Shorty decided to like, Shorty decided to like, start getting undressed and shit, you know what I'm saying? As soon as she got undressed, I got undressed. I'm like, all right, well, fuck it, then. boom. We got undressed, like, I'm about to give me some pussy. Even though I was new to this, not true to this, because I had only probably had, like, two or three bodies at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping a band with you. You know what I mean? So, she gonna what happened? She gonna top of me, boom. Um, She gonna top of me right. Now she got no panties on or whatever, and I got no boxes on, boom. So she put it in. Mm, soon she put it in, I'm like, and it, yes, there's no condom involved, but we was, we was kids, bro. Nobody had STDs, obviously. Glad we ain't made no babies. I ain't even get a nut. But anyway, we gonna get there. But yeah, so, boom, we start doing our little thing, little, you know what I'm saying? I start to, my little dick start to get wet, you know what I'm saying? I start, I'm, I'm a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? I start feeling that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to enjoy myself a little bit. But I'm on the bottom and shit, you know what I'm saying? She on top, and I'm on the bottom. I, I guess she must have seen this in the pornos and shit, so she wanted to reenact. 
So she jump, you know what I'm saying? She get on the bottom and shit. She doing her thing, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? I let her do her thing. I, 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 next thing I know, I hear some sounds. Like I start hearing like some, some sounds and shit going on, like in, in the crib. And I had already like on a walk in, on a, on, like, I already told myself like, like, yo, if her pops come home, cause this she had already been told me like, yo, my pops, my pops, you know what I'm saying? He um he come home at such and such time. So I'm thinking that we in my head we got we got at least an hour in here before her pops get home. You know what I'm saying? But no, little do I know, her pops come through the door and shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know who it is that came through the door, but she said she delivered a pop. So once she heard the noise and I heard the noise, she's like, oh, that must be my father. As soon as she said that must be my father, I start picturing, I start picturing them two fucking uh, machetes that I seen like this up on like the door. One of the, like, we walk into the, like, the, the kitchen, like from the living room to the kitchen. He had like these two machete shits with Dominican flags wrapped around them. And all you see them shits is when you walk on the walk in. So when she said, that's my dad that must have, my dad must have just came home. All I did was just picture them machetes, them two machetes and him grabbing one of them shits or two of them shits, both of them shits off the wall and coming upstairs and chopping me the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I pictured in my head. You know what I'm saying? I, I pictured that. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, I, I'm, I'm scared like a motherfucker. Boom. Soon as she said that much of my pops when I jump, I go into the bed. Boom, you know what I'm saying? She, Cause he start coming upstairs and she like, she like letting me know like, yo, you gotta hide, you gotta hide. Like, boom. So I jump under the bed. Boom, go under the bed. I'm under there, you know what I'm saying? He come in the room, he talk to her real quick for a little bit. Uh, uh, he don't really say much. Like, he, he, he didn't really do too much. He didn't really say too much to her, whatever the case may be. Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I come, I, I'm still under the bed, but like I'm talking to her because she's still in her room. He leave or whatever though. So I'm still under the bed, but I'm communicating with her like, Yo, what we gonna do? Like, is he gonna leave? She's like, nah, he's probably not gonna leave. He don't usually leave when he come home. So I'm like, Yo, what the fuck am I gonna do? What the fuck am I gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, bro, my heart was beating wild fast. I'm wild scared at the time, bro. Young nigga, I don't got no poke on me. I ain't got no ham on me. I'm just a young nigga running around trying to get pussy, bro. Fucking up. You know what I'm saying? So look, man. I'm under the best though. The nigga, he coming back up the stairs again. Cause you know, those they, they actually got like apartments with stairs and shit that in those, in those um, houses on Alexander and shit. So he coming back up the stairs again. And we not knowing why he coming back up, but I'm under the best though. You know what I'm saying? With some shit covering me, of course. You know what I mean? I'm under the bed. He coming. He yeah. He, he talking in Spanish though. But I could tell that he he barking on her about something. But I don't know what he barking on her about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting nervous. I'm getting scared because I'm like, yo, is he noticing like something's off or something? He noticing somebody must be here. Did I leave something? You know what I'm saying? Like obvious that like because he barking on her like, and I'm peeping it like you know what I'm saying? But he leaves the room. So he barking on her and leave the room. So as soon as he leave the room and go downstairs, I can hear him going downstairs. He's some heavy nigga. You know what I'm saying? He going downstairs heavy. You can hear him going downstairs. We go downstairs. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, what are you barking about? She like, no, I, he told me to do this when I got home and I didn't do this. So now he's coming upstairs yelling at me. But he's probably gonna come back and talk stuff. And uh, he's probably gonna come back up here and talk crap because I, you know, he wants me to go downstairs and do this. So you gotta do something. Like, she like, you gotta do something. And I'm like, bitch, do what? Like, what you mean do something? Like, bitch, there's no way else. I like, what, what are you talking about? Like, what I gotta do? Like, I'm lost. You know what I'm saying? So boom, I start coming up with ideas. So I think I start thinking, I start thinking. I'm like, yo, when I came up here, I'm like, she don't live in the projects. This is like a, a little, a little house type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, how far up am I? Like, how far am I off the ground? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, uh, you know what I'm saying? Why the coast is clear? I ask, like, is the coast clear? I gotta look for myself. I ain't even tell her, like, yo, I'm about to jump out the window. I just had to, like, look for myself. I'm like, yo, when like, the coast is clear, I can go look at something. Like, when I go look at the window, I look, I look. I'm like, yo, this shit is deep, bro. But I gotta do it. I gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, there's no way out of this shit, bro. I done seen the machetes up there on top of the motherfucking shit like this already, bro. Bro, I'm not getting chopped up by no machete. For one, if a nigga was in here fucking my daughter, bro, we in middle school, I'd come home, catch a nigga fucking my daughter, bro, I'd probably chop that nigga up too. Realistically, I probably wouldn't, but I'm just saying, though. I really just smack shit out the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect me in my house. But, bro, I was thinking that nigga was going to chop me up, bro, so what I do, man, get all my clothes on, get all my... I already had most of my clothes on, you know what I'm saying? Because I, when I was scared, I started getting my shit on and shit. So, now when the coast is clear, bro, I just said, fuck it, man. And I, um, I hung out the window, I got out the window, boom, hung down from the shit, you know what I mean, like... Hung down from the window a little bit, and boom, like, go. And just left that faith in God. That shit hurting. Oh, luckily, boom, I hit the ground. Oh, my, my feet hit the ground, boom. I ain't feel no crazy pain. It hurt a little bit, but I ain't feel no crazy pain because back then I was hot gate status. Back then I was jumping around everything. Nigga, I'm the fastest nigga in the hood. I'm going to tell y'all a story soon about how, how the police chased me around the whole hood. And it was a crazy story, bro. I'm going to tell you that soon. But yeah, so, 
You know what I'm saying? I jumped out the window. Boom, I made it. And then she threw me my book bag. I didn't have my back book bag on at the time. So I jumped out the window. Then boom, she threw me my little book bag out. Boom. I start, I run home. I run home after this. You know what I'm saying? Run home. You know what I mean? I'm, when I get home, I tell everybody in the hood this story, bro. Like, yo, my nigga, I just, you know what I mean? We young at the time. So not, as, not everybody was getting as much pussy as me. Not everybody was fucking the way I was fucking at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, like me, I've been fucking for a long time. I always been getting pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what time it is? I, I always, I, let's just say, man, when I lost my virginity, it was because a, a, a shorty literally wanted to fuck me. Like, my first time getting pussy wasn't even my doing. Shorty ran down on me for the box. Like, for the dick, I should say, because she ran down on me. But yeah, so I've been doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll get into some more stories soon. But listen, man, that's the end of this story time. And did. Homie ever find out that I smashed his girl? No, he didn't. He never approached me about it. Um, she did end up letting me know that he finally fucked though. Like a couple, a couple weeks later, she ended up telling me like, "Yo, I, we finally fucked or whatever the case may be," and shit like that. Blah blah blah. Whatever the case may be. I'm like, "All right, cool. I just wanted to kill the first time. One time is fine with me." Especially back then, I was literally just like, "Yo," and she was a she was a nice little Spanish joint. My first little Spanish body was a nice one, nice little Dominican mommy. She look horrible these days though. Horrible these days. At least from when I seen her last. Maybe she got her shit together. If y'all know her, if y'all, if anybody familiar with the story, y'all know who I'm talking about. She still look bad. Don't even tell me. But if she look better now, let me know. I want to see a picture. But I'm off this, Jimmy gang man. We off this. Listen, good story, long story. Like I said, but when it comes to story times, I really can't help but for them shit to be long because I be having like re recollect on what happened and then it be a lot of shit and I be want to give y'all details. Y'all want to, y'all want to be able to like, y'all want to picture the shit as I tell it to you, right? So then, give me some time, man. This shit ain't even 20 minutes. But as always, if you made it to this point in the video, you Jimmy Gang. Jimmy Gang. Oh, my real Jimmy Gang. You know what I'm saying? Comment, like, subscribe. Keep sharing to the folks, man. Keep sharing to your grandmother, your mother, your... You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Share it to everybody. Please, man. Post it on Facebook, Instagram, they be they don't they don't do me dirty on TikTok. They I smoke too much for TikTok, I guess. They not let me post my shit up there. So you ain't gonna see me on there unless y'all you know, figure out a way. But listen, man, Jimmy Gang, we going up, man. When all we doing is going up. We elevating every day. New videos multiple times a week, you dig? New content. New reactions, new story times. I got some real dope shit that I'm bringing to the channel, too. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, because I can't tell everybody everything. Niggas really be praying on your downfall. You know how many niggas I literally know? You know how many niggas that's really my bros, my homies, that see me doing this shit, see me putting all this work, dropping these videos and all that shit, and they don't, they don't repost my shit, they don't comment on my shit, they don't like my shit. Niggas talk to me on the phone and don't even give me no feedback on my shit. Like, so I don't even ask niggas what they thought about it no more, because... It's so love. But listen, man, I appreciate y'all. Everybody who watching this shit that be just, you know what I'm saying, supporting your boy, subscribing, and just be showing love. You know, the people who, they say the people who don't know you support you more than the people who know you. And I'm starting to really realize that shit is really true. Like, all of my subscribers, most of my subscribers is people I don't know. And everybody who I do know that subscribe and supporting and liking and commenting, I fuck with y'all 100% from the bottom of my heart. I mean that. You heard? But listen, like I said, man, we going up. At the end of the day, man, we don't really need... We don't really need no cheerleaders, bro. We just need supporters. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. I know I ain't gonna really have people in my corner cheering me on, but I just appreciate that y'all watching this shit because that shit means a lot. At the end of the day, I know I, I know I just said a whole speech at the end of this, and I and I just said it wasn't even 20 minutes, and now it's gonna go to 20 minutes. But we off this Jimmy Gang, man. If you got a split in your hand, hit that split. If you got a drink, drink some of that for me. Any other drugs I don't condone, so. Do it on your own time. Don't do it for me. Jimmy Gang, we off this.